All right, this is Aaron Brugger, Fantasy Disc Golf again. We've got Avery Jenkins on the other side. Avery, where are you at right now? What's up? What's up? I'm uh, in San Fran International Airport, about to uh, take off for Taipei, Taiwan in less than an hour. So uh, just happy to get an interview in with you and to have this conversation before I get on a 14-hour flight. We're glad you're here. So this is kind of starting off your 2012 season then over in Taiwan? This is going to be my first tournament of the year. Um, it's not a sanctioned event but it's going to be my first com competition of the year and uh, slightly different than most competitions for the fact I'm throwing 160 weight discs, you know, all 160 class the whole way through way different than I have my, you know, my real bag. And uh, these are, are my Japan open discs basically. And then, and then most of the discs I used last year at the Asia open. So are you nervous about that? Or you feel okay throwing, throwing the light plastic? Um, I'm excited about it. You know, I, I love, I love throwing. I love playing golf. And, uh, you know, we'll throwing 160 discs is slightly different. I don't know if you hear me right now. We can, we can hear you fine. <laughs> we can hear you. It's loud and clear. Okay, good deal. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's slightly different. It's, it's, it's a different kind of game. You have to be uh, very clean with your releases. Very clean, very smooth releases. And these discs that we're throwing are just as stable as the ones we throw, you know, throughout the season. They're just lighter. And sure. uh, some of these new uh, Blizzard Destroyers I have are super stable. And uh, looking forward to throwing some of those. It all depends on what the course we play in. But uh, last year's course for the Asia Open was just big, wide open holes and big par fours. And I had a field out there. It was fun. Sounds was fun. fun. So I definitely look forward to it. I'm excited. And uh, it'll be a good time. Now, before we ask you our fast five questions, real quick, what's your uh, any tour schedule? Are you going to be on the road a lot, playing a lot of events this year? Um. Probably the same mix. I'm probably going to do, you know, 30 plus events, all the national tours, all the majors. Um, obviously, going to uh, Sweden again this mm -hmm. year for the Stockholm Open major. A ton of list, yeah. Worlds in Charlotte and USDGC and, you know, all that good stuff. So, all the, all the NTs, all the majors, and all the big tournaments. So, that's how we do it. All right. Well, here we go. You ready for these? Bring it. It's real quick, man. Really easy. Uh, what do you do to get in the zone on tournament day? Uh, really just. Uh, just focusing at the goal at hand, you know, you, you came to play a tournament, you came to win. And uh, simple as that, you really got to just put yourself in position to win each and every tournament. And uh, all comes down to just really good crisp putts, great up shots and, and long drives. And uh, I don't know, I think it, it comes naturally. After after so many years of playing, it's almost like a habit. You really kind of just step up for it. Um, and a lot of times I think it's really hard to even play uh, – kind of pick up casual rounds because there's a switch and mm -hmm. you either have it off or you turn it on and uh, it's hard to play in the middle and it's always that switch you want to kick it on and it clicks when uh, when that first uh, when that horn blows on uh, Saturday morning number two what's uh what's your practice schedule like practice schedule um, during the season it's just a lot of golf um, a lot of playing courses um, if I do have the opportunity to go to fields and throw I'll do that you get a lot more reps a lot more a lot more drives a lot more uh, a lot more throws that way and the off off season obviously is a lot of training a lot of weight training uh, going to the gym running a lot number three who's the who's the player you most want to beat on the course let's hear it who's the other golfer you most want to beat when you're playing on the course uh, Nate Doss, <laughs> okay, the best, uh, the best, bestest golfer out there at this point. Um, he's, he's playing high level. Player. He's he's always steps up his game for each and every tournament. Um, and then you know you always got Dave Felberg. He's another top notch player that's always going to play a real consistent, real clean game out there. But you know, giving you a long course, it's uh, it's my bread and butter. Okay, I like that. Uh, number four tournament you're most looking forward to. Um, I'm looking forward to Stockholm Open this year. Like I said, it's uh, it's I haven't been there in two years. I missed last year. Um, it's never been in a major before. Um, beautiful course, uh, great people, great staff, um, great time all together. You're back in Europe playing a big tournament. And I love going over there and traveling and playing tournaments over there. Fair enough, man. Can you? You're not gonna be able to hear this. Hold on. I'll hold on. I'll delete this part out. Every last question, number five. You seem like a pretty with it guy. What's a, what's an embarrassing moment, man? You got an embarrassing story? A short one. Oh my god! Uh, missing a putt, missing a short putt in front of a gallery is always embarrassing. Um, I've done it a few times, and that's something you you know you really concentrate and focus on not to do. And uh, I think that that fear, if it's in your head enough, that it kind of pushes you through it all and 
you won't miss those spots. Um, everybody misses spots, but to do it in front of a gallery, it's embarrassing, and you don't want to do it, and I think you strive to do better because of it. All right. That's good motivation then. Anything else you yeah. want to say out there, sponsors or anything like that? Um, I just said this uh, Disc Golf Fantasy uh, League that you got running is going to be pretty incredible this year. Um, it's, it's fun to see – it evolved from last year as much as I love watching and, and, and being involved with fantasy football. It's cool and great to see it happen for disc golf. And uh, I think a lot of, a lot more leagues will fire up this year. I know a lot of people that I talked to were seriously into it. Um, did a lot of research on it with research players, research players, how they did last year at that event, how they're playing currently. And it was, just, it's just cool to see the whole stats involved with disc golf. Yep. I'm a stats man and I love seeing stats with any kind of sport, but incorporating with disc golf and a fantasy league, it's, it's fun. It's fun and exciting and you should be a part of it. We're, we're trying to get more stats in people's hands. Yeah, no, definitely. It's, it's part of the history of disc golf. You know, you got you to gotta keep it in the numbers, if you will. And, mm -hmm. uh, it's a great thing you have going. So. All right. Well, Avery, we, we appreciate your time before you get on the plane, man. Have a good flight. Appreciate that. We'll see you back here in the mainland. Looking forward to it. All right. Okay, we'll be back. Take care.